Good morning, Emma. You're bald. You have no hair. Where'd your hair go? Emma. Hi. Good morning. Are you guarding the loft? So I am in Mont Tremblant, enjoying the beautiful mountain and just on a little vacation. Um, I slept in a bit today because I just kind of needed to. And then I got up and I got ready to go snowboarding and now I'm just having a quick lunch before I go. I didn't eat breakfast, I wasn't really hungry and I slept for most of the morning. <laughs> so I will show you what I'm having for lunch and then I'll bring you to the mountain with me. This is a nutritional yeast, potato, carrot, whatever uh, macaroni and cheese that I made. It's not my favorite. I still have to play with it more. So I'm eating it with a bit of white linen marinara sauce on the side just to just to change up the flavor a little bit. But it's really good like this. So that is my lunch and we will talk in a little bit. So it's time to go snowboard. But first, look at this view. This is our loft. There's the little Yorkie that's angry. Look at our loft. Okay, I gotta go now. snowboarding for the day and I'm now on my way I just had um, a quick dinner which was the brown rice red lentil chili a bit of TJ's Mediterranean hummus and some habanero hot sauce sorry it might be a little bumpy ride I'll try not to make you nauseous but I'm um, driving around the mountain right now because I am going to do one of my favorite things at Tromblois, which is feeding the deer. So they're wild, so don't freak out. Hold on, let me explain. This is a national park. It's a conservation area. There is no hunting, no herding of any animals allowed in this area. They are completely protected. And it is not me who has socialized them. Many people have over the years. So what I do is I buy bags of carrots and apples and I go to this spot that I know in the woods as being a great spot to do this. And I feed all the beautiful deer. There are days where I have like 30 deer surrounding me eating from my hands. It's pretty amazing. Uh, sometimes it's just a few. So we'll see what we find today. But the winters here are so cold, like so bitter cold, and they get a lot of snow up north. So the animals don't have a lot of opportunities to get food around here. Like they can eat the bark off trees and that's about it. So there's a lot of people around here that feed them because they hungry. So I've been feeding them here since I was little. Um, I've even talked to a um, wildlife center and asked them if it was bad to feed them. And she said no, especially not in the winter. She said in the summer they should probably be more independent, but in the winter it's so hard for animals to find food. So it's not a bad thing to help them. So that's what I do. Once a month when I come up, they get a good, a good meal. Ugh. Sorry, this is very hilly terrain. I'll try and I'll try and drive steady. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. And then 
my mom bought me a gift. She got me gift certificates to the Scandinavian spa at Mont Tremblant, which is so sweet. So I should get two visits out of it. So I'm gonna go enjoy the Scandinavian baths after. I will try and bring you guys with me. I have a waterproof phone case. I don't know if they're gonna want me filming in there, but I think as long as I like don't take video of other people, they won't care. <laughs> so I will try and show you the beautiful spa. It is so gorgeous, especially at night in the winter. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna go relax for a bit at the spa. That will be wonderful. But now let's go feed some deer. My deer aren't in their usual spot. So I'm going to look in at a couple of their spots that I sometimes find them because I got a lot of carrots and apples to share. But worst comes to worst, I'll try again tomorrow. I found a deer, but I can't find anywhere to park. It's killing me. I'm still trying. Give me a second. Gotta come up with something smart here. Maybe I can just sit right here. Yeah, there's a mailbox here. People must pull over here. Okay, let's do this. Are you hungry? Would you like some more? Look at her. She's beautiful. Here. Take a bite. Okay, we're the whole thing. They're so pretty. Come here. This is me and my dear friend. Hi. Will you come say hi? Oh, you don't want to be pet right now? I know. Take a bite. Good girl. Look at how pretty she is. It's a girl. She has no little butts where her horns would be. We're friends now. I'm gonna name her Beatrice. Hi Beatrice. Well, she was a hungry girl. I only saw one though. But tomorrow I'll find more and I'll feed them the rest. <laughs> But she ate a pound of carrots, or no, two pounds of carrots, and about a pound of apples. So I, I think she's good. Like she, she, she got a good meal. But then my hands were numb at that point, so I, I had to get back in the car. It's amazing how they stay warm when it's this cold. Oh, those poor babies. But she had a good, nice meal. She was happy. So now I'm gonna go to the spa. I'll show you when I get there. It is gorgeous. So you're not supposed to have phones here, but I brought mine so I can read a book on it. So I'm just showing you guys how beautiful this is. I'm happy. Hey guys, so I had a great time at the spa. I feel so relaxed and refreshed. Now I'm home with the puppy. She looks so tiny. My mom gave her a haircut didn't actually ask her to do that she just did it I wasn't thrilled because my mom cuts her hair too short but she's still cute it's fine so we are gonna go to bed um, all I've had I had a bagel when I got home with my mom's homemade raspberry jam and a little bit of earth balance so that's it for the day I'll show you my bagel right now You'll notice part of it was gone because uh, I forgot to take a picture before I started eating. I was really hungry after the spa. 
So I've eaten and now it is good night. All right. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.